Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another segment of Fun and Games. I'm Michelle Stone. I'm Jenna Rose. And we are with the Underground Music Collective. We are once again in the Real Music Nashville studios to film another segment. Um, we are joined by Matthias and Trey here today. Uh, we're super excited to have them on. Hey, guys, how you feeling? I'm feeling great. How are you guys feeling? We're good. We're good. Excellent. Yeah, I'm feeling real good. Um, so today we're hanging out. We're playing a classic of the Underground Music Collective, which is Party Bag. Um, for those of you who haven't seen our other episode with the Dirty Delusions, Party Bag is where we have our guests blindfully look into a bag, pick something out, and see if they can identify what it is. Um, of course, me and Jenna already know what's in the bag, so we won't be playing, but you guys get to enjoy watching them try to figure things out. Um, do you guys want to go ahead and introduce yourselves and, you know, kind of tell everyone a little bit about you? Yeah, sure. Uh, where should we start, man? Uh, should we go all the way back? Yeah, we can, let's take them back a little bit. <laughs> take okay, them back. Okay, so uh, i say it was probably four or five years ago. We started working in a basement that, uh, like, my childhood friend uh, bought a house, and uh, he ended up dating. He's got two kids now with his sister. Mm -hmm. So, like, my buddy who I grew up down the street from, you know, ended up leading me to him, which was weird. And then uh, we started doing some beats, and back then I had, like, this long, crazy hair, and this guy was just starting to grow his out. And, and you uh, actually live, like, really down the street? Yeah, yeah, from where we're at right now. I used to live right up the road, oh. so we were kind of commuting back and forth, and we would just, like, sit around, <laughs> hang out, and smoke and drink and make beats all night, and <laughs> you know. And then as I started doing things, he's kept doing things, and, you know, we've been together. and Doing things? Yeah, doing things. Doing big things. Yeah. It's kind of something to... For, uh, for everybody. Yeah. Developing thing. a sound. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So what about you, Trey? You know, I know we know a little bit more about Matthias than we do you, so. Right. Uh, I started out in a in a group called Mob Life, the Movement. Uh, that's still my group. Um, when, when I met Matthias, he was, uh, <laughs> you know, working on the guitar and stuff, and he was like, hey, I want to make some more hip-hop trap beats, and I was like, hey, I want some more guitar in my sound so like us getting together was just a blessing really yeah. like i had just started together. hitting festivals too and seeing like see these crazy collab crossovers oh, and yeah. so like there, yeah. at the time as many people weren't producing music so finding trey and him already having a catalog of you know stuff that he'd worked on and you know records he'd produced it was just a great link up at the time you know and so. i think a big thing for me too was like we was going to uh we went three years in a row to south by southwest and just like seeing like the bands out there I was like, hey, I want to do that. Like, I want, I want that. Step up your game yeah, yeah, like I want that. And then it was just like, and then I, uh, like his childhood friend, you know, he would always tell me, uh, I got a friend that does, you know, music. Every everybody knows that person, you know. Like, I got a friend that does music. I know y'all should link up. And I'm like, yeah, 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 okay. And then he he just, you know, man, it's like six four with long hair and all these <laughs> tattoos. And he's, I was like, oh, he's got to be legit. He's, he's gotta, gotta be legit. <laughs> he's, you know, he's six four, tall with tattoos. Hey, I'm six long seven. Hair. First of all, I am six foot seven. Thank you. Do not disrespect the height <laughs> oh like that. Gosh. Okay. It's and very he, important information. Yeah, it's very he important. Out, trust you know, me. He gets it changes out everything. Uh, pedal board. He's got the guitar case. I was like, man, this man's real. It's not. It's not nothing to play. So we had like this big ass setup in the uh, basement, and then he gets he gets to playing. I get to playing uh, on the keyboards and stuff. And he was like, this is gonna be it right here. Mm. And we just been making that fire. That's ever the since. symbiotic re relationship, you know. Um, so you guys are each doing your own uh, solo stuff or your own right. projects, and you are also coming together to just kind of do give give each other like a, working in a complementary way to each other's. So you're right. doing your own. You're, it's two different things that you're working on, right? And right. You're each contributing to each other's. And then right? you get the you get the best of both worlds. You know, you get the. You get the uh, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and then you get the <laughs> you get the laid back hip hop, chill, you know, southern rap, and then you mix them together, and it's just it's amazing. Yeah, that's yeah, a really cool thing. Sounds amazing. Um, speaking of a completely other world, uh, Trey is gonna he wanted to try the jam on camera. Oh, yeah. um, for those uh. of you that don't know, which no one does because I haven't told anyone, but my <laughs> friends, um, I'm making jam now. I'm a jam person, um, and I made with my partner a peach jam. Um, so we're gonna let Trey try it on camera and see what he thinks. Test. Yeah, a taste test. We already let Matthias do it, so we want to. Yeah, but we're gonna content. have Matthias do it again and recreate his uh, his taste on ASMR for us. Mm -hmm. It was a moment to say the least. <laughs> Hold on, do it. You gotta. Uh, that's Ooh, a good crunch. Chewing in the mic there. Is that a buttery wafer? 
Mm. Let me keep it real. Yeah. It tastes like McDonald's uh, apple pies. It really? Totally tastes like apple and pie, it's yeah. so 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 good. And it's homemade, so it's made with love. And so it's, it's like probably. Wait, I mean, not like, to knock McDonald's or anything, but you know, no, it's it probably. Like pie. It's yeah. probably not got all the preservatives and stuff yeah. like that. No, it's that, all, all that. natural, and when we put CBD in it, it's gonna be just a whole nother, whole nother thing. I would like to make a pizza roll, but with that on the inside yeah. and the outside with powdered sugar on it. Oh. Yeah. He's like, yeah. deep frying. Oh my yeah. God, he's good. Yeah. See, you need here. to go to him for when you get a <laughs> get can of, of this to get some recipes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and start this game of party bag up. Um, we're going to have Matthias go first. Um, so, like I said, the objective is you guys are going to not look. We don't have a blindfold. We should probably I, get one. I have one in my car. <laughs> we should, yeah, hey, can I, I, I make a suggestion, though? Yeah. On your next oh, one, you, uh, you got to do the buttermilk biscuits. Oh, yeah, see, that's sure, a good idea. Sure. That's a good we, idea. We just missed Matthias saving the day here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Look, I've always well, got a sweat rag. Go ahead so. and put that on <laughs> your clean, eyes. It's clean, though. It's clean, though. Um, I'm going to give you the bag. So, so I can literally just do this. You know that. I can well, yeah, go this, ahead and do, do that. Do that. There you go. Perfect. Okay, here we go. So you can He's give that to Trey. Prepared. You can give that to Trey, and Trey can use that one. And I'm going to say, Trey is the name my mama gave me. My performance name is Trizzle Tarantino. Trizzle Tarantino. And we'll yeah. give you guys But you can call me Trey, later. though, you know. We we'll um, keep everything for me. You'll know where to find him. We'll link all that stuff, and we'll talk about that a little later. But we're just getting started, guys. So <laughs> um, let's give this to Matthias, and we're going to have him pick something out. All right. Here's your bag. Left hand, right hand. Whole hold, hand? Hold the bag. I'll hold and the then bag. Reach it. Choose a hand okay. and reach is there, it with that hand. Is that a cowbell in there? And you, you <laughs> can't look or tell him what's going on here because... You're going to be picking stuff out of there, too. So you want to go ahead and close okay. your eyes as well. This okay, feels close. like either a doorknob or a Well, you got to pull it out. Pull it out. See. Okay. We want our people to be able to look. Okay, what's going on here? So can I set the bag down? Yeah, you can set the bag down. Okay. But I can't see what he's got, right? Yeah, you can't see what he's got. Oh, well, Do yeah. I take my eyes off now? Or no. You, no. Have to, you have to describe you what have it is. You have to discuss. Guess okay. what it is. What does it feel like? So it's either a dragon's tongue. Uh, a high heel <laughs> shoe without the base part, you know what I mean? Oh, like yeah, that's a like really that. good guess. That's a nice guess. Okay, or some kind of spoon. Fake. Does it stand up? Hold on, can I put it on the table so I can feel? Keep going forward, yeah, Wait you can. Wait for it. A Is swan. It? <laughs> yeah. This one? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. That's, I, uh, uh, I spent six summers studying indigenous birds. <laughs> the that's I know them all by feel. It's quite, yeah. That's like really impressive. That's um, something I just, I, I don't even remember where I got that, but. Um, yeah, so you can just set that aside. That's no longer in the bag. Okay, can I take it home? <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, unfortunately. Okay. Some of it, we have given away stuff, though. We gave a ring okay. away to the Dirty Delusions. Your, uh, which is still worse. Um, so first, we're going to talk a little bit okay. about your album. So I know you know you, you said you're wrapping up an album mix um, and your live production. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody kind of about that and what's, what's going on with that. So uh, I think this is an appropriate time oh, for us to get our drink of choice out this evening. <laughs> We have a six-pack. It's called Bush, and it stands for Bitch You Should Have Came Home. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a Bush, rap sponsor rock. him. Yeah, it's a sponsor rap us. rock album. Uh, Shout out to Folk Barrel for the... Uh, with the name I got that from my old head back home. Acronyms are amazing. Yeah, we uh, yeah he said that one night on the porch, and we'd already probably made like sixty or seventy tracks, and you know the idea came up, and about six months later, we both kind of went through some crazy situations in life. But he missed the point. He missed uh, the part. He has a, a pathfinder, and one night we went out somewhere, and I opened the door, and I'm talking like thirty bush cans fall out, <laughs> and I'm like, "Duh, what happened?" He was like, "It was a crazy night." I was like, "Bitch, you should have came home," <laughs> and he just buzzed out laughing. I was like, "You get it, bitch? You should have came home." He was like, "Duh, that's the that's the most." Craziest name I've ever yeah. heard. Yeah. It was like, we're using that for that. If we're going to back up for the Pathfinder, shout out to the Nissan Pathfinder shout that I've been driving for five years. Well, you got to give light, too. What's uh, light? What's an acronym for light? Uh, I heard one the other day. It was like, uh, <sighs> less I, oh, yeah. Bitch, you shouldn't come home less I get head tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, but that's boy, hey, I don't mean anything by that. That's just a, I heard oh, that on TikTok. I respectfully, that, respectfully, yeah, respectfully, <laughs> I do like heads. Respectfully, <laughs> you know, uh, so I do stand behind the joke. It's a good one. It's at least four stars lying. on Yelp. That's you're a good lying. joke. Right, right, right. It's better than my avocado joke. It is. What's the avocado, the avocado joke? joke? No, 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 no. Oh no, no. We'll I save have it. To know. We'll save it. 
Because okay. when Jen se- or when Jenna sees this, it's gonna be uh, it's a yeah. I have a really nasty to dirty, dirty like dirty down. joke that I don't know if you guys have seen How I Met Your Mother because if you have, you I would just know finished it. watching it. I've seen it like four times. Finally watched the ending. Oh, I've never. I thought I saw the last episode, and I guess I oh just never did. The ending is like I so s- crazy. I ain't never watched. He gets it, with I Robin. I always Robin thought he mom, got with oh, the mother, and that was how it this? ended. There I never is spoilers knew. Spoilers right now. How I Met Your Mother. Spoilers. I've watched it. So I used to watch it all the time, but I'd fall asleep. So like you miss episodes. And well, I just, then you I know thought, the joke. How, what's the well, difference between peanut butter and jam? Since we have jam here. <laughs> I know a really dirty one. <laughs> you can't peanut butter a penis in your in your butt. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's that's worse than I was gonna say. I, I think can. we're going to have to go. <laughs> I'm going to unclip my invisible mic here. The interview's over. Bye, guys. Oh, <laughs> that was, yeah, that was... Uh, I mean, we um, have jam yeah. here, so, you know, it's kind of fitting. <laughs> um, okay, so let's Anyways. move on to the next. So now it's your turn, Trey. We're going to get you in with the bag. Um, right, so, Matthias, do you want to give him his bandana? You got the, uh, hand him the bag. That's from uh, Memphis and May, Beale Street, like four years ago, too. Oh. What's the story oh. on that? Uh, I just go all the time. My dad's side of the family all lives around Memphis, so... Oh. You know, it's always a fun. Shout I got to West Tennessee. Avocado, yeah, yeah, shout out to West Tennessee I've for sure. I'm from West Tennessee, so. Yeah. Don't you look You've in there. You've never been to Memphis? Oh, oh, I cheated. I saw a cat toy. Oh, oh, I saw a cat oh, okay. toy. A spoiler. Northern California. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Okay, so so you're going to not look either, and you're going to put that on your eyes, um, and we're going to give you, you get three. Oh, this is a dope bag. Thank you. It's my, my Josh. Someone gave that to me for a gift, and I was like, this is the best bag you, you could have given me. Have you been using this for everyone here, or did you like... Uh, you, well, the last one, special, yeah. I used it for special? the last one. Okay. Yeah. Right, we'll talk we'll about see. that later. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay give him okay. the bag. All right, so, Matthias, go. don't you look in there. Okay. Do you look away, Matthias. You're not allowed. So, pick out a thing, and then when you pick it out, show it so everyone can see it. All right. Oh, I know what this is. What is it? That's a bottle opener. There you go. It's yeah. time to get it popping. Don't stop time to... looking oh, in sorry. there. I can't help it. It's time to get I wasn't even trying to break oh. the rules. I just was curious. <laughs> lose... I'm not kidding. You lose bag privilege. <laughs> I swear to God. I He's just... like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, like I don't even. It's not even about the game. Like I just wanted to know what's in there. Yeah, I bought that actually downtown. I was hoping and, um, there was like a little stormtrooper, or, like something Star Wars. You want to see something there, cool with it? Let me see. What you got? Some tequila? There could so be. look at that. This is. I'm a. I will like. This is how I bartend. I like oh, yeah. pop stuff open. Oh, yeah. You're that girl. <laughs> yeah, people are like they buy beers just to watch me pop stuff open with this. Well, they have to buy safety glasses for all the shrapnel <laughs> <laughs> coming around. If you're breaking the tops off of long necks. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, no. you have bar backs downtown that go around with like a magnet thing to pick up bottle caps because so many of the bartenders ch- 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 mm-hmm. and they all fall down. So you have the bar yeah, backs that come idea. by. Yeah, they pick them up. Mm-hmm. Not bad. So we have some more stuff here they want to talk about. Um, uh, well, so okay, so we just talked about the album, right? Mm-hmm. Did we finish talking about the album? Did you guys get get through what you wanted to say about I it? I mean, like any other. Fun I, facts I think we got sidetracked on. What were we talking about? Uh, I don't know. Maybe the jam. Um, Shout out to that jam. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the jam. Oh, yeah, you started talking <laughs> yeah. about it. And you oh, yeah. Hold on. No, 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 no. Let's keep talking about the jam. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. Oh, we're yeah. going to have Matthias. Okay, off the bat, wheat-based, a <laughs> uh, little starchy. I appreciate this. Are those routine. pumpernickel seeds on top there? I don't know. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, he went in, in for look, that. Look, he we're going went. in. We want a nice, flat, even, uh, uh, get a crisp it. Have you considered tasting jam for profession? I have. Instead of jamming, have you considered jamming? Mm-hmm. I have tasted a lot of things professionally. <laughs> Hello. Um, mainly <laughs> beers. <laughs> Mainly, oh, Jesus Christ. Hello. He is yeah, not here today. Was, Jesus is not in this room right now. That was not supposed to be dirty. <laughs> um, here but we go. Was. Okay, so it's got a nice hold. You could definitely get the car with this. As long as she left the money on the dresser. This. <laughs> <laughs> if you left this on the dresser, you may get your hand sticky on your way out the door. You know what I mean? Um, well, do what so. you're doing. That's going to happen anyways, I guess. <laughs> Facts. Facto. Especially in the bedroom. Even ratio. Uh, to, are these... Are these indigenous to like the northeastern region? <laughs> They're from Georgia. The peaches. Okay. I get my peaches. Okay. Southern, I get my peaches okay. down in Georgia. Okay, Jay Biebs. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna. Mm-hmm. Fine. Yeah. The jam no, is I a hit like a bit We have a whole jar there. of this, so feel mm-hmm. free to eat as much as you want. A bit of a bit of a bit. <laughs> It, I'm telling you, the biscuits, should, the biscuits. We should quote that and put it on the jar. I on think the label. Was, I think mm-hmm. that was a perfect thing to put on there. Yeah. <laughs> Rated. <laughs> um, so I know you said you're releasing bass back home. Is that what the album 
Um, is, well, is, the album's is, Bush, and then oh, the, so the album is Bush. That's right. what mm-hmm. that's called. And then what's Bass Back Home? Bass Back crazy. Home is gonna be uh, it's gonna be the last track on the six pack. Oh, so, so yeah, we did like six early. songs like a six pack, you know, because mm-hmm. the album's that's name so Bush. creative. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That's really creative. And I'm gonna plug the next one too. We got another one. Says you know Matthias instead of Natty Ice, we doing Matty Ice. Wow, no, you sure. guys are really creative. I'm oh, so yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. like living for it. <laughs> oh yeah. So tell us more about it. Like, what what's some inspiration behind it? Breakups. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. It's it's definitely a breakup album. Really? Yeah. We both went through some stuff, yeah. and uh, you know, the timing kind of lined up, and you know, I had a bunch of beats that I'd kind of started making, and then I was like, hey, these kind of go together, versus a lot of the things we've done have been like really in a bunch of different directions, trying to see what hits as far as like the combos, but. Um, gonna plug my other project real quick simply majestic i've learned a lot about working you know rooms with that project because i play guitar with the dj shout uh, out to brandon shout out, yeah so shout cool. out to brandon rolling and uh you know incredibly cool uh through that i've had the opportunity to play i mean like almost every rooftop club in nashville i've done lots of private events you know i mean we've played to like 18 countries in a stream one night i mean it's just been is this original music really uh we do remixes and i i freestyle guitar throughout the whole thing so like really understanding how uh, a room can change depending on you know a uh, key signature or a tempo mm-hmm. uh, and taking the same thing and manipulating it between different sets every single night it really has taught me a lot so you know we came back and I, I started looking at all the beats that we had together and it was like okay we've got like 22 beats that are pretty well similar like they could kind of go together and that's where we came in with the six packs we started breaking them up into six packs and then started the process of you know writing vocals capping things up, uh, adding extra instruments, getting as much live influence as we can on it, and uh, going from there, and we ended up wrapping it up with the, with the one we got, and it's, it's a story. And the Pathfinder was... All songs a, go together, yeah. Oh, the really? Pathfinder story was really, like, this, the, like set it all. Really? Like, when I o- opened the door and all the bush cans fell out. Which I think we were camping, so it's not like we were just <laughs> drinking and driving, but uh-huh. the Pathfinder's been all around. It's been up and down the East Coast and to all kinds of festivals. It's just a great camping car. Speaking but. of teaching, have you thought about teaching people? Because it seems like you kind of have a, a good, like, idea of, like, when it... Because you're freestyling guitar, you have all these projects. Oh, well, like guitar I've teaching? You. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. No? No? I'm so... I can never be He's somewhere. He's edgy. He's too edgy. What no, it's not. What do you mean? No, like, no. Like, okay, so you I know, just like I get I sit in a room and some people don't take me well at first. That's what I'm you saying. Know? Yeah. So it's hard to you know. He's the he's the coolest person. I, I'm not trying ever. to be impatient with people. I just like I have a lot of thoughts going, and so I have to slow them down, mm-hmm. and kind of you know try and get things out. And I've gotten better with that with age. But I, I tried giving lessons in the past to make money on the side. But he's being professional. Know. He wanted to say like people and don't want to take his. He oh, time. I can. Yeah, first. No, one, no, he's gonna give you. Anything. He's gonna give you hell if his. He's gonna give you hell. He means well, but he's if gonna you give can't you hell, take, but he means well. well but if you can't take it, bars. but if you can't take it, you know everybody can't take it. Mm-hmm. So it's, yeah. it's like, why well, I don't want to do with it anyways? When yeah, I'm already like, doing my I, own I work thing. with people forever. Yeah. You know, that's kind of my thing. Like I like to get in with people and build, you know, true relationships. I'm from here, by the way. I don't know if you guys both know that, but you know, I've seen a lot of. What part are you from? From I'm from Nashville. I'm from Murfreesboro. Oh, so right. like I grew up down there. I moved up to Nashville when I was 18. Memphis, you said. I've been back. I'm from I Lexington. Yeah. Lexington. Shout out Lex Vegas. It's right in the middle. It's between Memphis and Nashville. It's the same. Mm, Trinity Lane's where I grew up. Trinity. Josh you ain't drove up on no Trinity Lane. Mm, I, did. I know a little bit about Nashville. I know. I grew up on Trinity Lane. I grew up till I was 12, and then I moved um, to Laverne, and I went to Laverne High. But I was on Trinity Lane till I was 12 years old. The part of Trinity Lane I've been to was. Popping, popping uh, um, like, it will like back popping, in the popping. day. Like I saw someone running at 9 p.m. doing yoga, and I was like, what the? Uh, My when friend the, was like, "What?" I was like, "Dude, when I lived on Trinity, oh, when, the, yeah. when, it, when it got dark, you, you had was to go in the inside. House. You <laughs> had to go inside. There were hookers on Dickerson Pike. Like back when it had character." <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but no, yeah, I did. A lot of so you might be on Trinity. Like, you might be. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's easy to assume when you see someone uh, things, but if you really know me, like, I had a very difficult childhood in Trinity Lane. Yeah, that's where I, I remember playing basketball and my, you know, I had a house that had a big back area and it was crazy back there. It was insane. There were so many animals. I was a big animal person. I rescued so many kittens. They're just stray dogs and cats. I'm sure. There's so yeah. many. Yeah, there was this cat that had she would go and <laughs> get pregnant people. over and over again and pets. have kittens underneath the barn. And I remember being a little girl and I crawled under the barn. I saved all the kittens. I literally taught them how to eat. And then I remember I gave them away. Like I was so dumb. I was a kid. And I gave them away holding them up on the side of the street. Well, there was this dude that lived across the street. I gave him like two of them and someone was like, You know that guy eats 
Oh. Cats, right? And I was like, what? <laughs> oh what? Please send me they were just fucking with you, right? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Me it still of... scarred you to this it day. It still scarred me. To, I still <laughs> think about those cats. I'm like, did he eat those kittens? It kind of reminds me of like Wedding Crashers when the guy's like, so I had these baby seals and I had to nurse them back to health. <laughs> and, you know, I just, you know, just... Sorry, that's the first um, thing I thought of. Like, oh, okay, I just so. These, I these kittens. We got, we got about 10 minutes left in our interview. We're going to do another uh, thing with Matthias, have him guess what's in the bag, even though he's looked okay. in the bag. I always saw, like, oh, I'm double banned in it. Is this fair? Right. Cheating, cheating the game. Um, all right, we're going to give it to him. And since mm-hmm. we're rounding down, you, know, you can look because there's so much stuff in there. Have you been, she says she's never been to Memphis. Tell me you've been to Memphis. I have, actually. One of my best friends, Rambo. Shout out Rambo. We've interviewed him. He's from Memphis. Yeah, so uh, we actually want to do a show up there. We want to do a hip hop show up there because they're they have big. Gotta go, you gotta go. Bill Street is where it's at. It's a good music community. I mean, I love Second Ave. I love Second Ave. I mean, you know, he got the thing. He already knows what it is. Oh no, I don't. Oh, it's just Bill Street has got so much soul. I was feeling it, not listening to it. Okay, so let's see. He he already knew that there was a cat toy, guys. Okay, well this one's definitely makeup of some kind, right? If it's kind of it's it's something that you apply, but it's not. Can I do my nails with my eyes closed? <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's see, let's see. So you know what it is. It's no, nah, I'm just kidding. It, but, but you guess what is it? It's nail polish. Nail polish. Okay, you can sit on the table. Don't um, look in the bag. Oh yeah, don't look in the bag. Look, I should have just. There's so much going on. I'm growing my hair out right now, and it's just like. You getting back to what the, that picture you just posted yeah, on Instagram? Yeah, I just pulled it up. Yeah. Oh, you seen that? See, that's that's who I met. Oh yeah, the long-haired one. Oh, is yeah. that when that's how you met him, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just and then I just we had a uh, session one day, and I pulled up, and he was like, "You like my haircut?" I was like, "No, <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> no." <Nah>, honestly, <laughs> look, we so. was a long hair game. Like what? Like, it was really long, but also I gained a lot of weight when I grew my hair out, and then so I lost like a bunch of weight after I cut my hair off. So I'm like, okay, so, let's so gain. You associate? Us well, that's no, I really do because like for me, it was like if I'm gonna let myself go, I'm gonna let myself go. You know what I mean? Like, All if right. you're going to grow your hair for three years, fuck it. Let's Big Lebowski this thing. <laughs> I bought a Do couple robes. I got some nice slides. It was a whole thing, you know? All I right. did well. Versace well. robes. Uh, Remember that? Yeah, yeah. yeah Versace actually pronounced robes, Versace. Yeah. Well, oh, well, shout out to Donatella. They didn't tell me that when they gave me the receipt, so. had a video where she was like, they were like, what's the w- a word that you hate that people mispronounce? She was like, Versace. It's not Versace. It's Versace. And it's so funny because the Versace commercial, all of them are like, Versace. Versace. <laughs> but she didn't check them, I'm no? like, did you not listen to her when she said that y'all are pronouncing it wrong? <laughs> I'll pronounce it any way she want me to. She's going to send Gough. me some more robes, you know? Uh, you saying? So, um, I don't know how many people know this, but Matthias has a hidden talent, or not so hidden talent, for dad jokes. Oh. Oh. Give us a good one. All right, all right, all right. So, my buddy lost his job the other day. Couldn't get a ride to work. And I don't understand why he didn't just ask me, because avocado. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now you have to follow it up with another one because uh, <laughs> it, it, it has to. No, it has to be. They have to go together. This is the thing. They okay. Have to go together. So uh, you guys like Game of Thrones? Okay, yeah, cool. Uh, <laughs> Never seen it. Never seen it. Well, I was driving down the road the other day, <laughs> and I saw this car in the ditch, and I pulled up, I rolled my window down, and I asked the guy, "Are you Stark?" <laughs> For those of you that have seen it, <laughs> is that funny? You've seen leave, it, huh? Leave a comment no, if you think that's funny. It's pretty really funny. It's pretty really Okay, funny. I have one. Um, what kind of bees produce milk? Boobies. All right? <laughs> boobies. Because okay. boobies. Boobies. All right. Um, so you guys, Matthias was telling me you guys had some upcoming shows. Is it just you, or are you guys going to do some live performances? What can we We're going to do some, we're gonna, we got some things. Trey doesn't know about all the things. Don't let me tell the secrets yet. Oh, I do, okay, I'm doing those things right now. Secrets. So we're gonna This was a hidden secret. This was like. Yeah, hey, this was a secret for him, too. Yeah, he didn't know yeah. we were going to do this. I, was, <laughs> I didn't know we were going to do this, but like as soon as like I had the opportunity to like do it solo, I was like, well, we're going to do it, we're gonna do it the album. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But also, another fun fact, you know, since we're wrapping up to the end here, this is going to be our first time performing live. Oh. We've been producing and doing stuff together for years, but we've just never done wow. anything like actually, never. like until last night we did it and it was like, all right. What an honor that everybody so, yeah, watching oh, yeah. gets to so see you go, for the first when, time. When the Matthias yeah. Project, Trizzle Tarantino blow up. This where it was at. This where it started, right? Here. This yeah, is I couldn't think of a better, <laughs> this is where it started. Uh, you know, it's like, well, let's go ahead and do it. You know, we're just kind of waiting. Hell yeah. 
Are you guys thinking of doing any music videos or anything like that? Uh, I've been telling them. Look, we're going to do we Like a this. bush video, of, like recreate the scene where you roll up and the bush falls out yeah, of the truck. Yeah, there you go. She took the words right out. He said that to me so many times. So many we've got times. this truck that's broken down that we want to fill up with cans, which we've got like bags and bags of cans to do this with. Um, He's a real drinker. Real drinker. Uh, you know, I, I I have one. I stay loose. And then I'm like a sorority girl. Like, <laughs> but, um, Did it become a woo girl? I love Woo Girls. It's where you go, Woo! (laughs) It takes one group, (laughs) one Woo Girl, changes the whole night for a bar. Just saying. They talk about on How I Met Your Mother. They talk about you can become a Woo Girl too. You're not not like stuck in being a Woo Girl. Everyone's got like a thing they can woo for. Yeah, you Mm -hmm. can woo for like, oh, like, Like, I I don't have the kids tonight. If you take me to a vegetable peeling contest, I will be in the front bro. Woo! (laughs) Woo! You know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah. Okay. That's a thing. He's like, uh, Veggie peeling. Okay. No, nah, I mean, it's like, I'm not <laughs> I'm not a drinker because, all right, look, I'm going to give you a little story since y'all like stories so much. When I was in college, when I was he in high school, like I, when I was in high school, I can out drink anybody. <laughs> it, it don't matter who you are. I got to college, started getting with the pros, and I got really drunk one night. And I stayed in these apartments. I stayed on the third floor. So I was getting ready. To, I get out of the car. I throw up all, everywhere out of the car. I'll get ready to walk up the stairs. I was like, yes, I made it up the stairs. I throw up all over the wall. And then you hear the sweetest voice ever like, oh, my God, are you okay? (laughs) And then I turn around, and it's like two of the most beautiful women in Murfreesboro ever. And I just threw up all over the floor. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, you guys want to hang out later? (laughs) Oh, no, it wasn't none of that. It wasn't none of that. I couldn't even get the door open that good. So I was. I mean, threw up all in the bathroom. I mean, it was it was okay. What's the weirdest place you've thrown up? Is that the weirdest place? Uh, the the weirdest place? I threw Ooh, up on my friend's question. my friend's bed once. I didn't even realize. I was like 22, I think, and like I fell asleep and I woke up. He had just got a new Tempur Pedic, and he didn't even care because he was one of my best friends. He was like, "Yeah, you, you threw up in my new bed," and he kept it. I think he still has it to this day. I th- uh, I threw up at a party one time. I'm talking about like mid, like yeah, bro, what's up? <laughs> uh, yeah, what's up? It's all good. What you know, about like, you? I sprayed some people one time. Oh, Ooh. No. I tried to put my hand up, <laughs> I, and you know what happens like when you put a spoon under the sink? Yeah, yeah, that was my. I, I did this right too. So it just, I was. Um, it was I, so bad. It was down in Memphis, actually. Shout yeah, out to that's funny. Shout yeah. Out to um, I was really bad. in the car. My ex was driving. I don't even I think was... my co- hold up. I don't even think my cousin knows about that. I went to a party with my cousin about this, and there was like this garage section, and I was drinking Johnny Walker Red, which is like pretty all right stuff. But I didn't have a taste for alcohol then, and I did this, and like there was three people right here, and I just did that all over them, and I went to the car and I said, "Hey Sarah, we've got to go." And we <laughs> left to go. not too and you long just left after it that. There yeah. All oh time. yeah. Oh yeah. No. I gotta out. hear Jenna's car Done. story, so I'm curious. About Sorry, what she's didn't mean to, to cut say. you off. Oh just... no, it's fine. That was that was worth listening to. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, and so my ex was driving. It was like late at night, and um, I was sleeping in in the passenger seat, and with a with a seat like laid back down and everything, and I felt fine. And I just, I didn't even, ha- I never had the sensation of having to throw up, but I like felt it coming and I put my hand over my mouth and it just, it, I sat up and just like spewed it everywhere all over the car. <laughs> like, I don't know like what happened cause I didn't feel sick and it, there was no, like, there was no warning at all. And, um, and <laughs> bless his heart the next day he was out in my car scrubbing it with like a toothbrush Aww. and and q-tip like getting getting everything out everywhere so you was, was drunk you I, was... I have been drinking like not a i mean the motion I, sickness it got yeah you. Oh, no. yeah, you yeah, had yeah. to yeah. you would have to come like out there and and come out you'd have to come out there the and help yeah. me clean it up. i mean i didn't feel sick at all i can't help me come back kind of weird i love how we just got off on the side story of throwing up um share your best puking stories in the comments if you have them i know we have many of them okay so we're about to close out i want to do one more tray pick through the bag Right. The bag? Um, the, and then, the you know, guys, while he's getting the bag to pick through, I just want to remind you, you can find um, Trey and Matthias on Instagram. Um, Trey is at Trizzle Tarantino. Matthias is at The Matthias Project. He's also on Facebook. Um, and he has a TikTok, The Matthias Project. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll link Maybe. all that stuff in the comments so you guys can see that. So make sure to give them a follow and keep up with their project. He ain't tell me about the TikTok. I ain't also telling keep what up with doing. Simply Majestic and Lost in the Pines, my other two projects. And let's see what Trey finally picks out for the final and part. And Tree of Shelf. Yeah, yeah, definitely Tree Shelf. Exactly. Don't forget Tree oh, Shelf. Tree Shelf is really good. They just performed yeah. at Cafe Coco at a show I performed at as well. Yeah, shout out Sam, uh, Jesse. Okay, so uh, what Steven. is it? What is it? 
Uh, is it lipstick? Yeah. It is lipstick. All right, guys. guys so all um, that today. concludes our episode of Party Bag with Matthias and Trey. Um, we're really excited to see what they're working on. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you next time. Fair, but don't play right. Save screenshots from those late nights, and you bring them back up in the middle of a play fight. Feels like I'm hitting replay. Guess I'm stuck in my ways, like I'm locked in a cage with the keys. But I'm afraid to see what's on the other side. You're just getting time, so you find a new ride or die. I'm crazy, baby. Maybe you're crazy too. But if I hit you up, I bet you're coming through. You know I'm crazy, baby. You know I'm crazy for you. I feel you coming now. I feel you coming through. There ain't a thing that I wouldn't do, that I wouldn't say to get you off my brain and make it okay. If just for the day, I think it's funny that you used to call me crazy. Still stuck in my old ways, won't change for nothing. They like. Bro, you got all the hoes, but I still don't love them. I love both of my kids' mother, but I still don't trust them. Cause I done been through too much bullshit, then a little bit. My real name really should have been trouble. Can't stand in my bubble, can't knock me off of my hustle. Said we the dream team. I gave you the ball and turned around and watched you fumble. I asked you what happened, all you could do was mumble. I knew that the rain was coming as soon as I heard the thunder. I knew that the rain was coming as soon as I heard the thunder. There ain't a thing that I wouldn't do, that I wouldn't say to get you off my brain and make it okay. If just for the day, I think it's funny that you used to call me crazy. I went crazy for you. Oh yeah, I'm crazy for you. I wouldn't do that I wouldn't say to get you off my brain and make it okay if just for the day I, I think, think it's funny that you used to call me crazy Times without those doors, and I'm not really sure if I should speak on this position. I'm hard to love, I'm always shitting, just me and my issues. Think we'll make some room, so go ahead and bring it with you, and we could get a chance to talk it up.
baby, I'd listen. Don't be just another secret to another stranger. Put 10,000 hours working out a little anger. Think we're ready if you I can't say that I would blame him. It's just the little things without you keep on feeling stranger. If you ain't got time, I understand. Sometimes our days don't go as planned. And I know you can, but no, I can. So when light turns green and traffic jams, just, just know. know. You can call me on your way back home When you're riding with your radio alone We can talk about your problems, it's okay I know you don't wanna Cause you ain't sure where we're going yet And I just hope you feel the pace back home When you're riding with your radio alone We can talk about your problems, it's okay I know you don't wanna Cause you ain't sure where we're going yet Studio session got three cell phones You can call all three of them I'm on the grind She on the hustle Don't, don't need me for nothing, nothing. Put us together, watch how we turn nothing into something. Me as your man, you as my woman, predicting the future. We both seen it coming. Mind just be running a hundred miles per hour. Talk on the phone for hours. Going from mine to hours. You beautiful, just like a flower. We blowing that diesel, we rolling that sour. Look at their faces, I know that they sour. Strong as a couple, now we got the power. You can call me on your way back. When you're riding with your radio alone We can talk about your problems, it's okay I know you don't wanna cause you ain't sure where we're going yet I just hope you feel the pace back home When you're riding with your radio alone We can talk about your problems, it's okay I know you don't wanna cause you ain't sure where we're going yet And yeah We got one more for you. So how many of y'all like to get wasted? I'm talking about just wait, you know, just one, just one good time wasted. Like this is that song when you get wasted too, right here. Get my head right. Get my head right. Get my head right. Get my head right. Let's get wasted. Wasted. And let's get high, baby. Let's get wasted. If they don't smoke, I, I guess, guess we'll face this. No, you know I don't want wasted. Get out of with my fragrance And let's get high, baby, let's get wasted Get my head right If they don't smoke, I guess we'll face it. Get my head right Oh, you know I don't want waste Get it. my head right And you get out of with my fragrance Get my head right I'm just trying to vibe I'm just trying to vibe I'm just trying to vibe I smoke when I ride if I get too high, I might let you drive straight to the crib. Yeah, it's time for that slip and slide. I'm trying to get in between them thighs. Then I'm gone when the sun rises. But first things first, it's waking me. If they don't smoke, take it to the face. No, I ain't got time to waste. Tell that money I'm on the way. Mary J, that's fake. She still call me Mac Trey. I went to bed still wasted and woke up high from yesterday. 
Damn. I know you ain't mine, but hot damn, yo ass so fine. I just wanna hit one time. If you want some more, just hit my line. I'm pineapple tequila, got mojos and more reefer. If you can't roll out, teach you. Let's get high, baby, let's waste it. If they don't smoke, I guess we'll face this. No, you know I don't want waste it. Oh, I don't get my fragrance. Let's get high, baby, let's get waste. Get my head right. If they don't smoke, I guess we'll face this. Get my head right. You get out of it with my Get my head right. Champagne sippers. Straight out of glass. We drink it straight out of the bottle. Addicted to money and good weeds. Addicted to robes. Like I'm the model. Trap queen. Just like Griselda Blanco. She bring her friends from my vatos. Told her this my cheese nachos. But my mood of Cabo. My new chick from Mexico. So if you're praying on my downfall, shoot yourself. Cheddar Bob. Plexico. Spotted your bitch when I hit the dough. She gave me your number, then call her dough. Put on this earth to finesse these hoes. Count money while I'm blowing drove. Text message, where you at though? Wasted. Let's get high and let's get wasted. Wasted. You can't hide it with your fragrance. Let's get out of it, let's get wasted. Get my head right. If they don't smoke, I guess we'll face it. Get my head right. Oh, you know that I'm a waste. Get my head right. You can't hide it with your fragrance. Get my head right. Yeah.